Hey guys, welcome back. It is part six of our Klingon Bird of Prey build, and i am got everything dried. Everything's got a matte coat over it right at the moment, just to see what it'll look like. And I'm going to start masking off all these sections and getting some of the paint on it. I'm sort of following the uh, instructions. Uh, some of the things on the instructions I don't really agree with, like the sack bomber green, I don't really agree with that after looking at a bunch of screenshots. Uh, maybe here but there's a lot more there's a lot more detail painting than they have on here the wings are pretty good though the wings i think are pretty uh accurate so we'll be masking off the the little panels here this whole section under here is red along with this right here at least that's what it looks like on this studio model uh got a bunch of masking to do on uh on this whole thing i think i'm going to start with the bottom actually and I'm not sure if I'm going to do sections or if I'm going to do it all at once. It'd be nice to do it all at once just to get the paint on there. Then uh, take those masks off and spray it with some uh, clear coat. And then go on to the next color and just do it color by color. So I'm going to start masking off. I'll be right back. Hey guys, a bunch of painting done. So I've been doing all week. Painting, masking, painting, masking. Uh... The wings, all the painting, all the main painting is done on both wings. I've got the entire bottom half of this done. But, as you can see, I've got all the uh, <coughs> secondary colors on here. The red here, all these here. This is actually attached now. And I ran my fiber optics through. You can see they're poking out here. So yeah, the wing really came to life when I put that awesome red on there. And the instructions call for this color to be green. On all the screenshots I saw, this was actually gray, or at least some sort of grayish. So that's they are. Also, in between these panels, it is green, so uh, that that's not a big deal. I'll be applying. There's no way in heck you can mask those. If you can, props. <laughs> that is almost near impossible to mask. I'll be doing a green wash, a dark green wash in here, so you'll be able to get some panel separation. I'm actually doing a three-tier wash. I'm doing a black wash. A light black wash, then I'm going to do a uh, green wash, and then I'm going to do a brown wash, because this thing is rusty as all heck. Uh, you can see I've got all the colors done on the bottom here. Uh, I've got the ghost gray, I've got the secondary green. Got that all done. That beak looks good. Uh, something that the... Uh, I didn't... It calls for this to be sack bomber green in all this area, and some of this stuff back here, but I'm not really seeing that on the uh, studio model so and it would be it's just such a pain to just get this section right it's not even this whole section it's parts of this section and that's just really impossible to mask uh, I did get the colors on here I got the uh, yeah the beak done this is a gray panel I don't know why this camera likes to focus on the background instead of the foreground but it does Anyways, this panel is gray. There's a detail that's not in the kit where the cutoff line is right here. This is actually a panel line. Uh, I didn't notice that until I went to do the paint. So I would have put that in there otherwise. But there's a paint cutoff line. So looks good. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I've am i drilled the holes for my fiber optics in here and here. Now I have to paint the top. There is not as much painting to do. On the top, um, there is some of oh, that secondary green back here and here, along here. Uh, these pan some of these panels are painted that green. This is painted that green. This panel right here is painted that green. There's a couple of panels in here. There's a couple other panels I'm going to do just to make it look a little more detailed. I kind of did that down here around the uh, photon launcher. I painted a few more panels in than they called for. And uh, some gray in here I thought would be nice. I think there's some gray in the studio model too. But yeah, that is where we are at the moment. I'm going to get to work masking the top off and painting that. I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, all the washes are done. Uh, started with a black, went to a dark green wash, and then I topped that off with a, uh, a brown wash here. I've also got some details in here, some detail painting, some silver highlights. Just to give it a little, uh, a little bling here and there. 
Uh, some on the wings on each side, a little bit on the uh, the head here, a little bit on the guns. The barrels of these guns are actually aluminum colored and have no uh, no weathering, no like, you know, you see a little uh, scorching. It has no scorching on the studio model as far as I could see. So, waiting for this to dry. Once this dries, I'm going to put on the very few decals we have. These guys go on the uh, guns. And these two go on the wings. There is a specific side that if you can see here, the text is actually different on each of these decals. So very specific spots those go on. Yeah, once it dries, hit it with clear, decals, and uh, then I'm going to move on to doing a little bit of rusting. Actually quite a bit of rusting. There's tons of rust on this thing. And some adding some soot in places it needs to be added. Um... The underside of here is all done too. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of rust in here and such. Uh, the uh, same thing with the underside of here. I think those wings turned out pretty good. As far as the panels, now you can see a lot of separation in the panels. After that, uh, I'll hit it with another coat of clear. And then uh, final assembly, I guess. Getting really close, you guys. I'll uh, be right back when I get the clear on, and let's see how far we get. It's Friday, so let's see how far we get today. I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, we are getting really close. I got all the weathering done. I got a coat of clear over that. I got the uh, the decals on here. A little decal that went on the, the gun. A little decal that went on the wing here. Uh, just little final assembly to do. I have to attach these little guys to the bottom of these, attach the guns into the wings, attach the wings on there. I got my base here ready to go. I got everything uh, wired up underneath. I did reinforce it here. Got the wires going out here. I've got my negative and my positive. Really easy switch just to uh, uh, solder it up the uh, of course, the the hot wire to the uh, to this here goes to the switch, and then it goes around and comes out, and that'll be uh, attached to the uh, the lead wire on this. Yep, got everything ready to go. Now it's just attaching stuff. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna attach the uh, this guy to the bottom with my with my five minute epoxy, and then wait for that to get solid. And then while that's getting solid, I'm going to start it, uh, getting the wings on. And hopefully we'll be finished here soon. I'll be right back. All right, guys. We're on the cusp of being done. I got the wings finally assembled. Final assembled. I got the guns on there, as you can see. I clipped off of all of this. So that I like that. Uh, this thing. Yeah. Got five minute epoxy on here. I am gonna have to go back with some black paint and fix that, but that thing is drying. Oh, um, I'm not quite sure I'm gonna finally assemble this. I think the best way would be to attach it to the base and then put the wings on. But I'm I'm going back and forth on this. Yeah, she's uh, almost done. I did get those uh those red window things in and up here as paint still ticks me off a little bit but we are almost done I'll be uh, right back with the f hopefully with the finale there she sits guys all done I let the uh, wings dry for about an hour I tester glued those in test tours uh, there are two little nubs on the opposing side of where I'm pointing here tiny tiny little nubs and that's we're supposed to key them into the holes in here I actually reinforced that by gluing this entire edge here, 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 down the side. I reinforced the bottom where I put those filler pieces in, which you can kind of sort of see, with some super glue along that edge. Probably should epoxy these in. That's what I'm going to, that's the advice I'm going to give. Do as I uh, say, not as I do. Also, there's enough meat on the other side of this to drill a couple of holes and get some metal rods in there, and I highly suggest doing that. It's getting... Maybe a half inch of a metal rod and uh, epoxying those in just to make sure these things never uh, droop or fall off, which we're going to see if that happens. <laughs> 
but yeah, uh, everything's done. All the weathering's done. Um, I filled all the windows in here with uh, some canopy glue. That worked out great. Some of them, however, like these guys up here, uh, kept on uh, unfilling. They kept, uh, you'd go back and they'd be drooping in because the glue would be going into the hull. So I just let, let it dry in and just put a little bit more over it and wiped it off. They look fine. Actually, I might do this in the future because it turned out so well on this. They're actually, they're clear, but they're not opaque, so opaque that you can see into the ship, which is great because you could see into here and actually see uh, some of the LEDs and the wires. But once it dried, they look fine. You can't really see in there. Let's, uh, let's crank this up. There we go. Got all your lights. Let's low light this. There we go. That looks much better. You can see the, uh, the wing lights there and over here. Uh, marker lights are all here, which uh, apparently flash, according to Star Trek The Next Generation, the episode I saw. I, I went and watched it last night, on, I think it was yesterday's Enterprise, and all these lights were flashing on the bird of praise that were attacking. <laughs> so, yeah, oops. Um, see, we got those windows over there. We got the, uh, the awesome looking uh, photon emitter. I'm not sure why those windows are yellow, but they are. But yeah, that looks perfect. That's just what I wanted. Uh, these are actually a little bit of fiber that I sanded to get some more, uh, whoops, to give it some more illumination. And then just poked it in there. Same thing with the stuff on top, just a little bit of fiber optic. And those uh, engine lights. Let's turn it around. You can see the underside here. This light, same thing. Oh yeah, and these little red lights. Those actually are bright enough to illuminate this area in here. It looks really cool and when you've got no light. But yeah, the engine glows perfectly. That's exactly the glow I wanted. And as you can see, it does illuminate these little flaps back here. It looks really cool in no light. Let's turn this around. So yeah, really fun build. Highly suggest if you're a, if you're a fan to build this thing. This was a lot of fun. And there's even more detail I could have added. Uh, like there's struts underneath here that are triangle shaped. Um, I did add the little uh, aluminum things here. But yeah, a lot of fun. Highly suggest it. Uh, it's fun to build. It's My, my fun, fun was weathering it. I love weathering things. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I think I'm going to start on the cruiser. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. But until then... I'll check you guys later and take care.